Hey, so in this series of videos, we are training the computer PyTorch Python to play Doom. In the previous video, we looked at what is entropy regularization, what is entropy, and like how to calculate the entropy regularization loss. In this video, we're going to implement the entropy regularization in our Python slash PyTorch code. So let's go. Okay, so if we go back to this Doom 011, we want to sum the entropy up so that we can back propagate. We can do that for each step, and then we will, like, as now, we will back prop each step, and then we will update the parameters each episode. Okay, so each step, we can calculate the entropy. So entropy equal and then uh, action probs, right? So action probs times action probs dot log dot sum dot sum print entropy Then you know what? I want to know if it's like actually got a gradient and stuff like if it requires a gradient. Uh, if there's no grad FN, then we're not going to be able to wrap prop through it. Yeah, so the action props has a gradient. Like it, we haven't done any sampling at this point, so this should have a gradient. So we should be able to back prop through this to update the weights. And then for the loss, wait, why don't I have a loss here? Oh, why don't I have a loss here? Okay, I'm confused why we don't have a loss here. Oh right, we don't have a loss because oh we don't have a loss until we've gone through the whole episode, right? So we're gonna add up this entropy for each step, right? So episode entropy. And this one, I'm not sure if it needs to be a tensor or not, but let's try episode and let's try just 0, 0.0 for now. We might need to make it into a tensor. Uh, so we'll call this step entropy. And we'll say episode entropy plus equals step entropy. Okay, and then with the episode entropy, we can make entropy loss. So here we've got the loss. So we'll call this our reward loss and then um, total loss equal reward loss plus entropy loss and then entropy loss is uh, a new argument which we're going to call entropy reg polarization times episode entropy but we need to make this negative right we want the entropy to be as high as possible, or at least not as high as possible. We're trying to, in, you, we're, the regularization is supposed to increase the entropy to make the, the probability numbers more equal to each other so that it explores and try other, tries other actions. Therefore, and the, enter, the optimizer is going to reduce the loss, therefore we're going to make this minus. All right, then the loss itself we simply add to this, and then we're going to do total loss dot backward. And the batch loss, I guess we'll add the total loss to item here. Okay. And then we need to add in this ent reg in the args. And then let's add in the entropy regularization here. So ent reg uh, type equal float and I guess we will default to, I don't know, like 0 0.01 or something. Uh, and let's add in a help. Um, encourages exploration. And while we're here, let's do like um, a scenarios.py or something like that. Okay, so I have to go into this doom lib. So let's do this new file, scenarios.py. And we're going to take from the run model, 
we're going to take the scenarios from the raw model and we're going to put that into this scenarios.py and then we'll just import it from both the training and the um, like the inference, the running the model. Uh, hey, so I've cut from this video all the stuff where I'm editing with the scenarios.py because it's just Python, right? If you want me to put that in or create, put that in a different video, then put that in the comments. And I mean, I have the video of my coding around with the scenarios.py, so happy to create a video where I present that. Okay, all right, so we've got some entropy regularization. Whether it's enough is unclear. To find out whether it's enough, what we can do is we can look at the the matches the argmax. So basically, hey, so for the argmax proportion, we'll look at that in the next video. Uh, so in this video, what we did is we took the entropy regularization, which we looked at mathematically in the previous vi video, and we implemented it in our code in this video. So, and then in the next video, we're going to look at what is this argmax proportion, why do we want it, and uh, look into implementing that. So hopefully I'll see you there.